Hi guys, Hassan here. We're gonna be installing the R77 slip-on on my 2012 CBR 1000 double R. Uh, stock exhaust uh, sound check. Okay, the first thing is uh, we're gonna open this bolt here which is holding up the lower fairing and what size allen key is this uh it's a five millimeter allen key that's gonna if you're sitting on the bike this is the left hand side and uh, this lower bolt you're just gonna take it off so this part is loose enough so you can get to the clamp in the back this so now the bolt's off you can see how loose it is and you can access the clamp clamp and the bolt easily that's to the opposite side of the bike and releasing the servo motor cable which is under the passenger seat here this black cover um, there's three screw rivets that actually hold this cover so you're gonna take a Phillips screw head and get this taken off and I'll show you how to take off the cable. So I have bigger screwdrivers, so I'm just gonna use the, the magnetic Phillips screwdriver head. Uh, Cause if you don't have a small enough screw screwdriver, your hand's not really gonna fit under there. So get these three taken off. So you're gonna really quickly unscrew them. And um, you can just use your hands. They're not really torqued because they're plastic, so it doesn't really matter. And that's two. Third one there. Okay, so once all three screws are off, you're gonna gently remove the the cover that's uh, covering the servo motor, and I'll let you spin this towards you, so you can pull out this cable. That's gonna make sure it's gonna release the exhaust when you take it off. That screwdriver and you know just try to pop this off to there we go once that taken off we're gonna loosen this bolt here this is an eight millimeter hex key and Loosen the clamp at the bottom. So, so eight millimeter hex key and this bolt holding the rear set and the exhaust. You're gonna take this off. Hold the camera. Point it there. I gotta grab the bolt from the back. Okay, there we go. This comes off, and this is basically holding the exhaust. We're gonna go to the other side and loosen the clamp at the bottom now that's holding the exhaust to the headers. Okay, so we're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna loosen the clamp bolt from the bottom. Not all the way, just loose enough so the exhaust can yank off. Yeah, that's the O2 sensor. Hold on, let me. So we had to remove the O2 sensor. Um, I didn't have a big enough wrench for that. The 5.8 didn't fit, so I used one of the pliers and uh, carefully twisted it, um, so it came off. And now we're gonna put the R77 on. And 
that's the R77. We got the heat shield. And we got the bolts and brackets. The e clamp. And we'll get started. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna stop hitting the bike. Alright, so using the clamp they provided, we put both of the clamp here. And we're gonna put the mid pipe nice and slow to the exhaust. And just slide that on. And that gets pushed all the way in. Is it good? That's it right there. This should go behind this shoulder. Okay, there we go. So, I'll um, hold it right there. We're gonna slide the exhaust later, but gr grab that bolt, grab that big bolt, that one. There. So we're gonna put the eight millimeter bolt back here, uh, properly aligning this with this. Okay, so we're having some issues. Uh, put the exhaust on the mid pipe but we're trying to slide it forward while getting this screw to line up um, I mean it's not it's not an easy fit so okay so that's loosened up get it? yeah so we finally uh, got the lower mid pipe aligned with the screw so I'm just gonna tighten this up real quick your 8mm hex key get this tightened up did you get it? Let me come. And on this side, we just screwed the O2 sensor back on. And we're gonna just tighten the clamp bolt down and start it up for a sound check. Just finished starting it up. 